What is an EV? I'm Tom Gegus, AutoVista 24 journalist, here with your handy What is definition. In this packed episode, we're going to explore all the different terms which come up when people talk about electromobility. Now, a great place to start is all the different names. When AutoVista 24 references an electrically chargeable vehicle, or EV for short, this covers both BEVs and PEVs, because they can both charge with a plug. But what are BEVs and PEVs? Well, a battery electric vehicle, or BEV for short, is totally electric. It's powered by a battery and driven by motors. This is different from a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, or PEV for short. These use both an electric drive and a petrol or diesel internal combustion engine, which is also known as an ICE. So AutoVista 24 does not classify electric hybrids, or HEVs, as electrically chargeable vehicles. This is because their battery is charged by the engine or regenerative braking. But what is regenerative braking, I hear you ask? Well, it's a key feature in many EVs and even some internal combustion engine powered vehicles. It uses kinetic energy built up by the car to recharge the battery instead of it being wasted through traditional friction based braking. In an EV, the electric motor runs in two directions. One, to drive the wheels, and the other to recharge the battery. When pressure comes off of the accelerator and onto the brake, the motor swaps directions and starts to put energy back into the battery. But what about other means of charging? What about plugging in your vehicle? Charging cables tend to have two connectors. One end plugs into the vehicle and the other into the charging point. The connectors will vary by vehicle and power output. EVs have either an alternating current AC Type 1 or Type 2 socket for slow to fast charging, normally used at destinations, and a direct current DC combined charging system CCS or Chardomo port for rapid charging, which is more likely to be on the go. But how much power can these plugs supply? Well, electricity is all a matter of watts. Watt is the rate of energy flow, so a light bulb might require a flow of 60 watts but an EV motor's maximum output might be around 300,000 watts. But don't worry, we would simply say 300 kilowatts, as there are 1,000 watts in a kilowatt. However, these are only snapshots of power usage. Kilowatt hour is what's used to actually describe the capacity of an EV battery. Now, if you're still confused, please don't worry. Instead of a battery, try to imagine a swimming pool. Kilowatt hour is the amount of water that the pool can hold, while kilowatt is the rate at which water will flow into the pool. Now, let's put all of this together. A BEV with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pulls up next to a rapid charger. It's capable of recharging at 115 kilowatts with a CCS plug. It can boost its battery from 20 to 80% in around 60 minutes. And of course, it's worth remembering, as charging and battery technology just keeps on improving, these figures are likely to keep improving over the coming years. Thank you so much for watching this video. Are there any other automotive terms you would like us to define? Then go ahead and leave us a message in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.